Hola, everyone, and welcome to another episode of NASA Science Live. My name is Elio Morillo, and I am your host for today's episode. I'm an operations and test engineer for Mars 2020 rover, Perseverance, and I also had the privilege of being an operator for our Mars Helicopter Ingenuity. My journey started as an intern just five years ago before becoming a full-time engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to work at NASA? Many people think NASA is all about astronauts and traveling to space. However, I'm gonna tell you something. Astronauts aren't the only ones doing exciting things around here. There's so many roles from scientists to engineers and even social media specialists. So how can you get started? Across the country, NASA interns from high school students to graduate students are using their creativity and innovation to work on projects impacting NASA missions. Today on National Intern Day, we're going to dive into how you can become a NASA intern. I'm joined by Albert Kadua, a NASA Student Airborne Research Program intern at Armstrong Flight Research Center, and Maria Peña, a remote summer intern also at Armstrong Flight Research Center. Thank you guys for joining us today. Yes. Awesome. So it must be so exciting to have started an internship at NASA. Can you tell us about your role and what you're doing at the agency? Sure. Um, so I am currently a student airborne research program intern with NASA Armstrong. And my particular, my particular project is working with uh, looking at past California wildfires, uh, specifically over the past two years, and uh, figuring out how they relate to each other in terms of the land that they scorch, as well as the aerosols that are lifted into the atmosphere uh, during the fire. Um, some of the other things that I get to do as part of this internship is that I get to take aerosols, um, aer aerosol samples, and um, have them be analyzed for about over 100 uh, trace gases over in a lab uh, back in California. Hey, your work is super personal to me since I work in California. This is fascinating and keep up the great work. Maria, how about you? Yeah, so I'm part of the Resilient Autonomy team at Armstrong, and we test the maturity of technology and inform airworthiness requirements to enable future autonomy. So finding a path to certification for autonomous aircraft. Um, my role is a little unconventional because I'm not a STEM major, but um, I provide previously unknown insights that could provide, uh, that could improve the bi-directional relationships between human computer interactions and team interactions as well. Hey, thanks for sharing. And I'm glad you bring that, you know, diversity of, of skills to, to the agency. Uh, so how many times did you guys apply uh, before you got accepted? I personally only applied once. But it was a little different because um, I attend CSUN, so Cal State Northridge, and there's a program there called ARCS, which is a NASA-sponsored uh, chartered center of excellence. So I applied to the program and I got in, and I was able, I had the opportunity to apply for a NASA internship. So that's how I ended up here. What about you, Albert? I am actually kind of the exact opposite of that. Um, I actually applied about five times before uh, getting my first internship. And um, uh, to hop on that note, I would just say that it doesn't matter whether or not it takes you once or five times or even a hundred times. Uh, honestly, just moral of the story is just keep applying uh, no matter what. Yeah, it's about that perseverance, right? Absolute pun intended there. How is this NASA internship uh, influencing your career paths. We'll start with you, Albert. Great. Um, so it's definitely influ influencing my career path as I am currently an engineering major at Virginia Tech, but I am um, now even looking more so into the environmental sciences uh, through the USAR program. And so with that, um, especially as I'm applying to grad school in the fall, I'm now uh, definitely considering uh, going into even the environmental sciences. Um, as well throughout, um, and hopefully throughout the rest of my career even too. And that's fascinating. What about you, Maria? Um, so it's definitely brought in my career and educational pathways because personally, I never thought I would do anything within STEM being a psychology major. So 
it's been great because I mean, here we are, right? So it's like, I'm really excited to see where I venture next because there's many, many, many ways I can go. That's right. And, you know, on, along those lines, what's some advice that you guys uh, can share to those that want to be NASA interns? Um, I would advise don't be afraid to try. I feel like we limit ourselves or we put restrictions on ourselves without trying first. Um, but I think it's very important to try because trying is winning and you just might be surprised what you can do. <laughs> what about you, Albert? Uh, the best advice that I can give is that, you know, don't make excuses for yourself. Um, you know, you definitely want to go into this application with an open mindset and you really just don't want to, you know, make all these excuses of, oh, I can't get this internship or, oh, I'm not, you know, prepared enough. But in reality, uh, the best thing you can do for yourself is apply because like, I mean, I'm here and I originally thought that, hey, I couldn't like do the stuff that I'm doing now, but I'm, I'm here doing it now. So... Hey, for sure. And it's about that resilience, right? And I'll sprinkle in my own piece of advice too for folks listening in. Hey, go build stuff, go break stuff, go learn how to tell the story about it and be sure to tell those recruiters what how, what you learned, right? Um, so, hey, thank you guys for joining us. I think you definitely provided some, some great insight for our viewers. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah, so as you can see, NASA has opportunities in many areas. Uh, you just heard from some of the interns involved in science and engineering, but the opportunities don't stop there. So let's hear from other interns around the agency and learn about the work they're doing. Hello, my name is Megan Hale and I'm from Houston, Texas. Hi, my name is Arev and I'm from California. My name is Jelly Sostre Cortez and I am from Puerto Rico. My name is Liam and I'm from Durham, New Hampshire. My name is Nia Asimota. My name is Caitlin Dickinson. My name is Ellie Coe. My name is Daniel Obongdua. I'm currently an intern at Stennis Space Center, and I'm working on robotics for the AstroCamp Collaborative Partners Program. I'm an intern at JPL researching protodoom formation on Mars. I'm an intern at Johnson Space Center uh, doing 3D modeling and animation for the Artemis program. I'm interning at the Goddard Space Flight Center researching commercial small satellite data. I'm currently an intern at Ames Research Center virtually as you can see by my setup here working on an application for visualization and analysis of 3D celestial globes. I'm an intern at the Office of International and Interagency Relations at NASA headquarters. I'm an intern at NASA's Johnson Space Center and I'm currently working in the Office of STEM Engagement. Currently, I'm interning at Langley and developing artificial intelligence applications that I can deploy to the cloud. It has been my dream to work at NASA since I was six years old. I really love how collaborative and supportive my team are. There's a new and exciting challenge every day. I'm always learning something new, and I feel like I'm part of a really big family. What I like about interning at NASA is that I have the opportunity to work with data that's out of this world. And going forward, I really want to develop a skill set in artificial intelligence to challenge algorithmic bias and just create more equitable solutions. And in the future, I'd really like to work on something similar to what I'm doing now, exploring other planets or helping our home here on Earth. In the future, if I'm not here or working on space, I really want to work in the autonomous vehicle industry and hopefully, you know, contribute some code to it. Definitely want to work in the field of international space policy. I've fallen in love with it even more since my internship started. And it's my dream to work at NASA. In the future, I hope to work at NASA full-time as a mechanical engineer. My career goals are to become a successful planetary scientist and maybe even an astronaut someday. One piece of advice I have for anyone who wants to enter is just apply. Apply, apply, apply. You never know. Let your passion shine through. One thing I want to recommend to anyone who, anyone who wants to enter at NASA is to not quit. I got rejected from like 20 different positions before I got the interview for the one I'm working at right now. Take chances. You might be surprised at what you can accomplish. So just reach out, make connections, and show your passion for NASA. Interning is an incredible opportunity to work with and learn from people of all different backgrounds and strengths, all striving towards the same goals. Apply, wishing guys the best of luck. Uh, that's all for me. Bye. Hey, so I'm now joined by Annalise Giuliani a intern program coordinator for the Office of STEM Engagement. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me today. Um, I'm so excited to get to talk with you further. Again, my name is Annalise Giuliani. I am 
um, the Office of STEM Engagement Internship Coordinator at the, both the Johnson Space Center, which is located in Houston, Texas, and then also at the White Sands Test Facility in Las Cruces, New Mexico. So I'm very excited to get to give you some tips and tricks on the NASA intern application process today. Yeah, so we have so many people wondering how they can become a NASA intern. So how many interns are there at NASA and what sorts of opportunities are available? Yeah, that's a great question. Um, so right now through the Office of STEM Engagement, we have over 2,000 interns um, interning with us at all the different NASA centers sitting across the country. Um, this summer we are operating virtually, so we have students in the U.S., we have students in Puerto Rico, and then also in um, the U.S. Virgin Islands. Um, they're interning on projects with from the STEM disciplines, so you have that science, technology, engineering, and math, but we also have students working on projects in some of those mission support areas, um, such as public affairs, the communication fields, the education fields, um, and even finance and accounting, because NASA tries to remain diverse and inclusive in all the students um, and the backgrounds, because we need those jobs to essentially get to the moon one day. That's right, I would wholeheartedly agree with that. So what are some requirements that uh, people need to know about to become NASA interns? Yeah, so the first thing I love to tell students um, is head to intern.nasa.gov. That is gonna be your one-stop shop to view all um, of the different internships that NASA offers. Um, but for an example, um, for the Office of STEM Engagement internships that I currently work on and manage, um, we have a few eligibility requirements that each student needs to meet before going ahead and clicking that submit button. So the first one being that you do need a 3.0 GPA on a 4.0 scale. Um, students do need to be at least 16 years of age at the time of application. They need to be a U.S. citizen. And then students also need to be enrolled in an accredited college or university, but they can also be in high school as well. Got it. So there's so many programs. So what are some of the different type of internships at NASA? Gosh, there are so many different um, pathways to getting to NASA and just to getting into a NASA internship. I think any full time NASA employee I speak with has a little bit different of a path on how they got to where they are today. Um, but two of our larger programs are, like I said, the Office of STEM Engagement Internships, and then we also have our Pathways program as well, um, which is more on the federal side. So first, to view those internships and what's available, you can go ahead to intern.nasa.gov. NASA also has a few other smaller programs, um, but also just as great, our L Space Academy, and then we also have internships through the Jet Propulsion, Propulsion Laboratory, um, where you are. And then along with those, NASA also offers a whole plentiful amount of student and educator programs and activities um, aside from internships. So to view some of those, they are spread out across the different NASA centers. You can go to nasa.gov slash STEM, and you can take a look at some of our fellowship opportunities, our postdoc opportunities, our um, Artemis student challenges. We even have um, the NASA Community College Aerospace Scholars, and the list just goes on. So again, I really encourage you to go check them out um, for both student opportunities and then also educator and teacher opportunities as well. Yeah, so there's such a vast you know, amount of programs to get to NASA and hoping all of you join us one day. And you know, along those lines, what are some highlights you know, that, that interns at NASA have? Yeah, so many highlights. I can speak from prior experience. Um, I was a NASA intern, but a few short years ago. Um, and I think the first highlight I would want to touch on is that students really have that opportunity to um, contribute to NASA's overall missions and really receive wholesome experiences and work with some of the greatest minds in the world. Um, and then the second highlight I definitely think is the amount of networking and student engagement opportunities that each student gets. Um, it allows them to grow both professionally and then personally as well. Um, students 
also receive opportunities to meet and greet with other interns across the agency um, through some student-led committees such as PAXI. And then they really just get the privilege to work on projects that have a lot of cross-collaboration um, across organizations at each center and then across each NASA center as well. Um, I like to tell students to look um, and to learn more about some of the student highlights that are going on from session to session. They can check out our social media pages um, on Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook, wherever you can find us, um, and you'll get to learn more about some of the deadlines that are coming up, and then also about the really cool and exciting projects that our students are working on today. Yeah, and I have to agree with everything. You know, I became a full-time employee after being an intern because I loved it that much, right? So we will be right back with Ask NASA. So remember to join the conversation and ask your questions on today's episode using hashtag AskNASA in the chat box or wherever you're watching this. Uh, we know there's a lot of questions, but first let's take a few of our interns and see how they became full-time employees and continued their NASA journey. Hello, my name is Chelsea Bayarte, and I'm a Public Affairs Specialist at NASA's Johnson Space Center. Hello, my name is Sue Kaur, and I'm the Lead Systems Engineer for the Data and Reasoning Fabric Project at NASA Ames Research Center. Hello, my name is Zeta Hernandez. I interned at NASA doing testing on spacesuits and analysis on thermal protection systems. I am now working on lunar vehicles and thermal systems for the Orion spacecraft for the Artemis mission. Hi, my name is Javier Ocasio Perez and I interned at NASA doing software. Today I'm an integration and test manager. When I was a NASA intern, it was my job to communicate all things science at NASA. So that included writing articles, editing videos, and planning live TV shows even meeting some of you at live events like NASA Socials. And now that I work full-time here, I get to do the exact same job. My name is Jacob Moore. I was an intern at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, but now I work here full-time as a flight controller in the Mission Control Center in Houston, Texas. Hi, my name is Autumn, and I was a legal intern with NASA, and now I'm an attorney advisor. My name is Kylie Vandenson. I interned at NASA in 2016, 2017, and 2018 as a student coordinator assistant helping coordinate the NASA internship program. Now I am working full time in the NASA Office of STEM Engagement as an education specialist at NASA's Armstrong Flight Research Center. My name is Lindsay Drone, and while interning at NASA, I worked on data visualization techniques through IR thermography. Now I'm a data engineer at the Unitary Plan Wing. My name is Talia Rivera Khan, and I interned at NASA doing public outreach and science communication. Now I'm a public engagement specialist for NASA's Exoplanet Exploration Program office. My favorite part about being an intern is the people. In just three short months, you get to work alongside people from all across the country, get to know them, and geek out about space together. I, I know I've made some lifelong friendships in this program. I loved interning at NASA because I was working on real engineering problems alongside senior engineers, and I was also doing my part to help advance human space exploration. My favorite thing about interning at NASA was feeling like I belong. There really is a place for everyone here at NASA. What I liked the most about NASA was that it was very inclusive, the value of diversity, and they were very welcoming. They really want you to do well. They want to see you succeed. Back when I was an intern, I learned a ton about professional communication and other skills I would need to be part of this world-class flight control team. The thing that I really enjoyed most about working as an intern is that I got to contribute to projects that are going to take humans back to the moon and eventually to Mars. I learned that I didn't want to go do something that didn't have meaning at the end of the day. I wanted to work on something that was changing the world for the better and something I could talk about proudly with my family and my kids one day. What I appreciated most was all the people I got to meet and the experiences I got to have moving forward in my career. My internship at NASA helped me realize that I didn't need a science degree to work there. My favorite thing about interning at NASA was the ability to meet and network with NASA scientists and engineers and I even got the chance to meet two Apollo astronauts. It was unlike anything I've ever seen before in my life, and that is the reason I came back, because NASA is not just a place to work for me, it's, it's family, it's a community. So we're back with Annalise to answer a few of your questions, and our first hashtag Ask NASA question is coming from Marcus on Facebook, who asks, I haven't been in school for quite some time, but can I get an internship at NASA? 
Great question, Marcus. Um, again, I always like to preface is go ahead and take a look at intern.nasa.gov. For our Office of STEM Engagement Internships, you will need to be enrolled um, in, like I said, an accredited college or university or in high school as well, um, or you also could be able to show that you are pursuing your next academic pursuit. Um, so take a look on that website and see if you fall into any of the other categories as well. At A. DeBelka on Twitter asks, can a medical student participate in an internship at NASA? Of course. Like I said, NASA tries to remain inclusive and diverse in the students that um, they bring on for their internships. Um, personally speaking, I work at the NASA Johnson Space Center, and we do usually hire a good cohort um, of medical students um, working on some biomechanic and spacesuit type projects, um, especially during the summertime. So like I said, keep an eye out on that, that website um, and for some opening spring positions coming up. And now we have Basil E. Frankweiler, also from Twitter, who asks, I recently heard about artists at NASA. I'd love to hear more about what they do. That is such a great question. Um, I actually sit in the same office as one of our resident artists. Um, at Johnson Space Center. Um, many of our artists also work in that um, graphic design type field as well. So if that's part of your skill sets, I encourage you to maybe search by keyword for graphic design or visual arts um, along those lines. But again, speaking from my own personal experience, um, and I know several other NASA centers do have resident artists that do a lot of the different work for the center operations. They may be painting murals um, around the center and other things along those lines. Yeah, I'll add to that too. At JPL, we have fantastic artists that come up with all kinds of graphics and posters that you're welcome to look up online uh, that highlight all of our missions coming out of JPL. And it's amazing artwork. I have some around my house too. Uh, fantastic work we have some some of the artists doing. So Anna from Facebook asks, how can you become an intern if you're an international student? Anna, great question and great name. Um, I would encourage you again, you're going to go to intern.nasa.gov, um, and we do have an international student program for interns located and based out of the Ames Research Center up in Northern California. So once you head on to that website, you can see if your country of residency falls under that Space Act agreement um, and allows you to pursue a NASA internship. So again, that will give you a whole list um, and some directions on what you can you can take on the, for the international program. That's right. Here at JPL, we have many international students as well from specific schools, specific countries. I again, you know, along those lines, there's specific programs. You're going to have to do a little bit of work digging them up. Yep. But but it is possible for some folks. So Ashwin on YouTube asks, how do we go about applying for an internship if we don't have much experience outside of schoolwork? I would encourage you first is to get involved, um, whether it's at your university or college or your high school, whatever, wherever you may be. Um, but it can also be within your local community. Um, you can join some clubs and things like that that really mirror what your interests are. Um, you know, if you have an interest in robotics, maybe you can look for first robotics clubs. If you have an interest in you know, graphic design and things like that. Look for opportunities wherever you're at to go and grow those skill sets. Um, and with that, once you have those skill sets and once you're filling out the application, I encourage students to really think about what their interests are and how they've applied those interests um, firsthand and go ahead and put some of those keywords into the application too. So get out there and get involved. <laughs> That's right, and I'll add to that too, highlighting what I said earlier, you know, go, if you don't have the chance of having internships or research or, you know, whatever one of these pathways is, on your own, go build stuff, go break stuff. There's so many resources online nowadays. Uh, I encourage you to just go explore all the skill sets that, that are out there and whatever you, you know, pursue, be passionate about and learn how to tell a story with it. I think that's very important in this whole, um, you know, joining process here. So Pama from YouTube asks, are internships paid? 
Yes, they are. Great question. Most of our internships across the agency are paid. Um, they do differ a bit based on your specific academic level, um, you know, high school versus undergrad versus master's versus doctorate. Um, so they do get paid a little bit differently um, in the way that they, whether they're a stipend um, or just, you know, a biweekly paycheck. So they are paid. Um, and again, check out that intern.nasa.gov site, and that can break down a couple of those frequently asked questions for you. Now we have Dimad on YouTube who asks, what type of work do you recommend us to study that could be useful to enter? Yeah, I'm going to put the ball back in your court on this one, my friend. Um, I really encourage you to go out and look at what your real interests are. Um, you know, I can't pick a major for you when you're going into college, but I think once you get, um, you know, into school, you'll learn about what some of your interests are. So um, really take a look in that regard. Um, again, like I said, NASA hires a lot of STEM um disciplines and fields, so those science, technology, engineering, and math. Um, but it, say you have an interest, like we said, in social media. Maybe you'll pursue a communications path. NASA needs social media experts to put on events like this one, perhaps. So really, wherever your interests fall, um, you know, take that and run with it. I am a teacher by degree. Um, so I took my education path and meld, melded it with the STEM, and here we are coordinating the internship program. So there's plenty of opportunities for you to kind of pursue whatever your dreams and interests hold. And I'll just sprinkle in, if you're coming into engineering, and I'm biased, right? I want everybody to be an engineer. Uh, regardless of what engineering degree you do, I just recommend you go learn how to code one way or another. Um, definitely becomes very useful in any technical path. So now we have Reja on YouTube who asks, are there any age limits? Raja, another great question. Um, for the Office of STEM Engagement Program and then also for the Pathways and other programs, you will need to be at least 16 years of age um, at the time of your application, um, so keep an eye out there. But like I said, NASA does offer some other activities um, and student engagement type opportunities, especially we have a great one, again, out of Johnson Space Center called the High School Aerospace Scholars, um, where you get a chance to come to one of the NASA centers um, and work on a team and produce some different types of materials there. So um, there are a couple age limits, but again, intern.nasa.gov will be able to give you a breakdown of those. Um, and then for the Office of STEM Engagement Program, it is 16 years of age. All right, so we have time for one more question. Team Explorers on YouTube asks, what if you want to be an intern but live in a state far away from a NASA Space Center? Do you have to move closer? Ah, another good question. So like I mentioned before, um, our, our interns um, are operating virtually this summer. So students are working um, across the agency from the comfort of their own home or dorm room. Um, but as we move forward and we go back to center, um, to the different NASA centers, students will be asked to relocate um, closer to that area so they're able to get onto that NASA center and do whatever work um, is needed there. So that's all the time we have. Thank you so much, Annalise, for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. It was lovely getting to chat with you today. And go ahead and apply at intern.nasa.gov. All right, so thank you, everyone joining us at home. To learn more about the ways you can get involved and become an NASA intern, please visit www.intern.nasa.gov. Also make sure to follow us on Twitter and Facebook at NASA interns for updates and when and how to apply for internships, fellows, fellowships, and much more. So, you know, we're so happy that you guys could join us today and uh, we hope you can join us here at NASA. I hope all of you can make it here and until next time, happy national intern day.